Front Western Area Champion. Will you please welcome Danny Ruick. And his opponent across the ring in the blue corner wearing the black trunks with the white trim. And coming from West Drayton in London. He scaled in an age of 10 pounds and has one win from his one contest. Will you please welcome Clinton Beebe. Your referee for this contest, Mr. Phil Moyes. Well, Danny Ruig in the stripes there on the right of your picture is not often in a bad fight. In the black trunks, Clinton Beebe, only second professional fight for him. Young man from West Drayton in London, he's only 20. He's won his only professional contest so far. Points win over Marty Chestnut, that was uh, last August. Graphic designer from West London. Rueg, who comes from Bournemouth, the town that produced the famous Freddie Mills, world champion at light heavyweight back in the 1940s. Quite an interesting test for BB in only a second pro fight. Yes, it is. This is a, a big step up. He's um, just his second fight, so he's got a, a bit to do. But Ruek does suffer from cuts quite a bit, so they'll be hoping they can get lucky there. Four wins, 11 defeats for the much tattooed Rueg so far in his career. But he has had cuts damage. He's an all-action type of fighter who is always trying. Well, the heads are starting to, to get a little close in there. I think Vivi needs to keep this fight pretty clean. Use right his hand. boxing, use the jab. Sorry, Glenn, I was just going to say that um, Phoebe does have a bit of amateur pedigree, young England international, and uh, he reached the semi-final of the National Boys Club Championships as well. But he's just been, he's just going into Ruex fight here, just been drawn into a little bit of a brawl. So I wouldn't have thought he'd come across too many like Danny Rueg in the amateurs. Good right hand from BB there. Ruick's the kind of fighter who throws so much leather, he's quite happy to miss with a bit of it, as long as you know, one in every two gets home. That's fine, he just keeps busy, keeps throwing punches, and this sort of fight will suit him. This Super Sunday at 9, remember the house your parents warned you to stay away from. Never had anything of this nature. When you venture inside, Oh, my God. You'll understand why. This is our home. This the way it's going to stay. Mother! The brand new series of The X-Files, followed by Millennium, part of the new Super Sunday lineup on Sky One. Welcome back to Swaddling Code in Derbyshire, where tonight Neville Brown has retained the British middleweight title with a fourth round stoppage of Willie Quinn from Scotland. You're looking at Danny Rueg here in this little oh, super bantamweight yeah. four-rounder. Probably won the first round there against Clinton Beebe, the 20-year-old from London. Rueg, incidentally, is managed by Jack Bishop, 
who was actually managing the fellow who fought Jack Fodell the last time there was major boxing in Swaddling Coat, and that was 35 years ago. Shows how long Jack Bishop's been around, doesn't it? That night, his fighter, Roy Seawood, lost to Bodell. We'll be hoping for a different story with Rueg here. These two both games certainly trying very hard. Maybe he's content to stay inside and try and outslug Rueg. Good right hand, but he's caught with the left hook from Rueg. Only down for about three seconds. May have done well to stay down a little bit longer, I think, there, BB. And another left hook catches him. And he's taking a few too many here, BB. He's finding this all a little too much against this pressure fighter, slugging, brawling away at him, whirling away with these shots. And BB is shipping a lot of hooks, particularly left hand. There's another one. And the referee may step in here. BB's under a lot of pressure. He's been caught now with about six, seven, eight left hooks. It had to be stopped. It is stopped. In round two, Danny Rueg noshes up only his fifth pro win in his 16th professional fight.